Pretty cool day today. <laughs> pretty cool day today. You know, it's it's pretty amazing. I thought I'd cry all day today, but to be honest, I just I'm so I'm so happy. Yeah, it's pretty pretty amazing to be here after seven years. And 600 people, it's three degrees, right? It's three degrees. I was like, please God, just don't let it rain or snow. Cold weather we can take, except for Theo. <laughs> Theo needs a blanket. What an incredible day this is for all of us. Um, you know, I as I was driving in, I was uh, saying how incredible it would have been for me to have a place like this to go, you know, 30 odd years ago. And I'm humbled that I had a very, very small part, you know, it'll be a place that, you know, I, I didn't like to come to Edmonton, you know, for certain reasons, but uh, if I could have had a left winger like Glory on my team, you know, I probably would have won a few more Stanley Cups and, and gold medals and stuff. Overwhelmed with gratitude and appreciation. I'm very, very excited and so proud to be a part of this. And it's for the children, right? And if you look around, all these smiling faces, and it's amazing. So I'm very, very grateful. Thank you for, for making a place safe for children to heal and to grow and to learn to love themselves. And like, I love you, Glory, so much. You're such an inspiration. Um, I'm just so very grateful, so. This place is beautiful, the renovations, it's, it's ready to go, and I'm just excited to see all these kids' lives just change. This place is gonna be open for years to come, and the amount of kids that are gonna walk through those doors is gonna be amazing. And they're gonna walk in, and they're gonna feel alone and they're gonna be hurt and they're gonna walk out with a smile because that will be taken off of them. They'll be able to be kids, be happy, feel that lighter. If you would have ever said it would have been 60,000 square feet, 120 acres and look like this, no. That wasn't, it was gonna be a ranch, but it was never gonna be this extensive, right? So yeah, I'm pretty blown away by the support and the love of just all the people. So pretty amazing. It's been such a journey for me. It's been a journey that's, you know, 30 years in the making, really. I, I wasn't even something that I could fathom, you know, back when I was going through this and the effects of sexual abuse. But the second I ever saw a post on Little Warriors, I knew that was my passion. I can't even put it into words. It means so much, what, the way they've stood up for these kids, the way that they have fought like pit bulls to get this place built, the way that they have treated my daughter while she was here. It just, it, it means more to me than any words I could ever express. I think it's an, a wonderful addition as a, a, new, a new type of project and a new type of approach. I think that this broadens it and it allows for the, the, the medical doctors and professionals who are involved here and the therapists involved here to continue to try additional ways of giving intensive therapy. And I think that that's definitely needed. I couldn't be more proud of, of Glory. She is one of the most passionate people I have ever met. She has got to be the biggest advocate for these kids. And I, I have to say, it's, it's, a, it's really inspiring to see how much she's done. So for me, I'm just gonna take some space and take some time and uh, and just kind of reconnect and get regrounded and then whatever God wants me to do, I'll do next. We still have a year that we have to raise the money for, so we're still probably short about 2.8 million in around there for year two, so, but we'll get there. When I had the, the vision to start Little Warriors, I heard a man by the name of David Ash talking about his purpose and how he started um, uh, the Vivian Shelter in Vancouver. I'm touched, I'm moved that uh, Glory was inspired by my story uh, to follow her dream and start the Be Brave Ranch in Little Warriors. You know, it just goes to show that goodness is contagious and uh, that just, you know, just fills my heart with hope, you know, for uh, all the people that need help, uh, whether they're people that come to this ranch or mentally ill uh, people that need help uh, in Vancouver, the city I came from. words 
to the emotions. It's been so long of coming out here and volunteering and putting all this effort and energy in, and it's open. Glory, you are amazing. Thank you for following your dreams, following these, like fighting these challenges and stepping out with your story and not being scared. You have done an amazing, amazing thing, and I'm in awe. Like, I, it's amazing. I don't even know how to describe it. Glory to her great credit and the team have been able to find people who've invested in this future and made just tremendous donations. Really heartwarming to see the generosity of some individuals, many individuals, to make this a reality. Now it's go time. Now we, you know, we've prepared, we've done, we've trained, and now we're starting this program. So there'll be excitement, yes, but anxiety will be there too. It really hasn't sunk in for me yet. Yeah, it's just been, I mean, seven years is a long time to work on something and to be out here. I mean, even the drive in, that long road every time, that's kind of like my, my grounding uh, time when I drive out here is that we did it, right? We now have this uh, really world-class facility. Um, it's pretty amazing.